Some of us say, new year, new me. Well, St. John's and Whitmer aren't trying to do anything new this year. Three wins apiece in the track. What they're doing is mostly working, but when they meet this Friday, both are hungry to send a message. The Titans aiming to bounce back from a heartbreaker against Lima Sr. the other night. The Panthers playing for the first time in two and a half weeks. We spotlight that matchup in this week's PNC Preview. You know, I don't know about prove anything. It's just like, you know, when you get when you're close to an opportunity to win, you know, I mean, it makes you a little hungrier to kind of come back and right that wrong. Different team, different circumstances and stuff. But, you know, I think, uh, you know, we talked about how close we were and, you know, the things we could have done. So I think they're excited to get another opportunity to just kind of get that bad taste out of their mouth. Uh, you know, last Tuesday, you know, we a tough loss. You know, it was a close game. We came out and competed, but we didn't finish out the end. So Friday, you know, we're going to come out and win. We proved that we still want to fight, that we don't give up, and that we're not backing down from nobody. It's pretty important, you know, we're ranked third right now, we're one behind Whitmer, so winning this game would be a big jump in the rankings for us. This is a very important game, you know, going down to St. John's, we know like that's going to be a really big game, so we got to come and be ready to play. So every every single team we'll play in the track, we know we're going to get their best shot, and we're going we're gonna to come ready to uh, pack a punch too. Uh, uh, just us doing what we do every day, playing defense, getting stops, uh, making people turn the ball over and things like that and pushing the ball, getting out in transition on offense. Most of our team, you know, we try to get everyone involved, you know, everybody to push the ball. Mostly Antoine, Mo, myself, and Derek James, we get out in a lot of transition. Uh, they're a good team, you know, they play good defense, press up a lot, and they move the ball very well, and they know how to shoot it, so we know we got to play a lot of defense and put the ball in the basket. You know, we play good, good defense. Uh, most of our points come in transition, you know, uh, Move the ball very well on offense. Uh, obviously, St. John's, you know, a really well coached team uh, with Coach Schoen. Uh, you know, that's a, a historic program. And, uh, you know, I went to the Lima game the other day and they just play really good together. Obviously, they uh, can score the basketball, they play really good defense. So, you know, we're, we're going we're gonna to have to go in there and we're going to have to, uh, you know, not turn the ball over, control the defensive glass, and uh, take really good shots for us to give, have a good chance to win. So we haven't played in so long. You know, we've had two games canceled because of COVID. We've been off a little bit. I'm worried about us being a little rusty, but hopefully we can get over that pretty quick. It's tough. It's hard to it's hard to stay focused, come back and like be focused every day. And you know, people are out from COVID and stuff. So we just gotta trust in our coaching, come in here, work every day, and get back on track. We feel like we gotta prove something. Like we got something to prove. We feel like we're underrated and we just wanna we wanna get the respect that we deserve. I feel like people they underestimate like just us off last year. I feel like we got a lot better from last year. Since it was Coach Stacy's first year coaching last year, people trust him more now. We got more players, so it's just like, it's just a whole different like vibe 